Good morning. This is the 28th day of, of February. We're in John, the third chapter, in the third verse. Nicodemus was a, <clears throat> a Pharisee, and by night he had slipped into where Jesus was, and he says, I know that you've got to be by, from God because of all these things you're doing. And, he, and Jesus told him, he says, you must be, except you be born again, you shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. And Nicodemus was just like a lot of us, a lot of people around here on this earth that are walking around that can't receive healing, can't receive salvation, can't receive deliverance, can't receive the blessings of God, can't receive the promises of God because they try to rationalize it. Look what Nicodemus said. He said, how can a man, when he's old, go back into his mother's womb? Well, you know it's impractical for a grown man to go crawl back through a narrow opening in a woman's body and enter back into her body. We know that's not what Jesus was saying, but through the narrowness of his mind, through the narrowness of your mind, have you been set free? Do you realize except you be born again? You know, life doesn't stop except in Christ as your personal Savior. It goes on in John 3, 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him would have eternal life. The next verse, it says, Jesus came. He says, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. So when Jesus is lifted up, and we're lifting him up this morning in these devotionals, we lift him up in our walk, we lift him up in our talk, we lift him up in our actions. And when we exalt and exhibit the way that he has healed us, delivered us, set us free from all the things of the flesh that reap corruption, and set us free, we, you know, without the Spirit of God, we don't know how to walk. We don't know how to live. Romans 8, 1 says there's no condemnation for them that are in Christ. Romans 8, 2 says you have been set free from the law of sin. And death because of life of spirit of life in Christ Jesus by the Holy Spirit. So when the Spirit of God comes in and reveals to you and I that we need a Savior. So we says, Father, forgive me a sinner. I believe that Jesus is your son. He was beaten. He was hung on that cross. He, was, he died. He went into the grave, was buried. And three days later, he rose through resurrection power. Forty days later, he gave the Holy Spirit as a seal to our redemption. So we have been bought with a price. We live according to what he has given us. And now we have the spirit who is given to us. And we exalt him. Because the spirit brings life of Christ in us. And shows us the way of righteousness. So we have been brought. And we live according to the ways of the Lord. And so what happens to you and I. Is we have been brought up in the ways of God. And we thank him this morning in Jesus name. Amen.